Ok, le acabo de leer las instrucciones ahora mismo. Acuérdense que los golpes son válidos del ombligo para arriba. Y cuando digo break es un paso para atrás sin tirar. ¿Están de acuerdo? Choco en guantes, Dios los bendice. Vámonos. Roberto Ramírez with the initial or the final instructions there for Emanuel Navarrete and Panchito Horta. He said the punches are legal from the belly button up. So let's get going, Tim. Yeah, the punches are legal from the belly button up, but uh, I'm looking at Navarrete's body, his lower body, the stomach, the abs. Don't it is, no, don't look like there's anything there. Bernardo, he's not eating for the last few days. <laughs> I'm looking for some muscles. I'm looking for some definition down there. Emmanuel Navarrete at age 24 is making the fourth world title defense tonight against Francisco Panchito Horta all happening in 2019 he won the title exactly 364 days ago December 8th of 2018 against Isaac Dogbe you see those looping shots and man you hear the cheers of Vaquero Vaquero talked about him being just less than 100 miles away from the city of Puebla and the uh -huh. fans came out in mass to appreciate what he's done so far as a professional as a world champion a lot of family a lot of friends everybody asking for tickets yeah definitely it could be a lot of distractions but Navarrete he seems like a, a real pro to me you know he, he adjusted well in LA you know in his first title of defense and I seen him again he adjusted very well when he was out in Vegas and he handled his business and I think he's gonna handle his business tonight Navarrete, he's a slow starter. You know, he'll take a good look at you. He'll use his jab at, at range. And then occasionally he'll he'll test you. He'll come around with the left hook, leaping left hook, or overhand, looping hand, uh, overhand right. Right now, he's just having a look at Ortha right now. It's not pretty. You know, there's no... You're not going to teach your kids how to fight watching Navarrete. No, you're not. But he can finish, and that's... That's something that even he can't explain. He says, I know it's not pretty. I understand that, but it works for me. But that's what makes him very hard to fight. He's very unorthodox. You know, he's very awkwardly clever, some would say. Just to put things into perspective, having Belinda singing the national anthem is pretty impressive. She's a big pop star in Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah, so Navarrete should be very happy that he's at that level when he fights in Mexico. There's Navarrete right there. He's switched southpaw just for a moment. Landed a nice combination as Ortha backed up against the ropes. It was really effective switching southpaw. That's a new wrinkle in the game. I mean, we've seen it, but it, it really worked for him early on in this fight. No, no, he can fight from any position. He could be squared up and shoot a bomb. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where he's at. He's just looking to land. And you mentioned it. A lot, a lot of fighters, they'll mention the fact that at fighter meetings, they'll say, man, I'd rather fight a guy that just one, two, come forward, very orthodox, right. easy to time, as opposed to this type of fighter where you don't know where the punch was coming from. And, and you face someone like that at Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, very awkward. Very awkward style. Manny Pacquiao, he does have a lot more form than oh, yeah, Navarrete yeah. does. But just the, the punch angles but, and the yes. speed. Yes. And one is in the books here, Faldo Ortega. Uh, right on the border here with California and he understands that he needed to switch something up yeah. he, he'd been fighting out of Cancun for the longest time and, and he said hey I'm going for the title I need to change everything around me. yeah you know sometimes you know when that pressure's on you well most of the time when that pressure's on you when you fight for the world championship you know you want to give the you want to give yourself the best chance of winning a fight so you know sometimes you got to make those type of choices and move away and go find the better sparring and the better work so you'll be better better prepared for your fights i don't know how you prepare for these wild shots from emmanuel navarrete but that's what panchito Horta was trying to do as he digs well to the body here in round number two what it's going to take to beat a fighter like Navarrete is a very technical fighter. Someone that has some punching power too to get his respect and also catch him in between those wild swinging punches that Navarrete loves to throw. And one of the things about Orta I've called 
a, a fight of his previously is when he gets tagged, he comes back with something. And that may be dangerous against Navarrete because Navarrete is the type of guy who throws three, four punches at a time. There he is. Horta thought he was safe out at distance. Came along the ropes. So what did Navarrete do? <laughs> He's kept... Oh, nice left, left hook. hook. Look at those shots. And you see Horta just taking a step back as Navarrete switches from orthodox to southpaw to whatever gets caught in the middle and still is able to land from a distance. You know who he reminds me of, Navarrete? He reminds me of Margarito. Okay. He's a smaller version of Margarito. But I would even say Margarito had more technique than Navarrete. <laughs> That's saying something. But here you see just Navarrete. It works for him, man. Being awkward, being a power punching machine. He's effective too. It's like having an ugly car that's all beat up on the outside, but you got a, you know, 354 cubic engine in there that just <laughs> runs other people down on the street, you know? And right, he's a sleeper. Is. Exactly. See the hooks coming in from the right and left hand of Navarrete. He's got his opponent pinned on the ropes, and that's the last place you want to be against Emmanuel Navarrete. But look how those punches, they're coming from odd angles. They're coming around the outside, then up the middle, then back around the outside, then straight. Navarrete, he throws punches at the oddest angles. <laughs> it's not many Pacquiao style, but it, it, you know, it's his way right. of doing things. He got caught coming in because he was leaping in. But Horta not able to do much against Emmanuel Navarrete, who just keeps throwing punches and punches here as round two of the scheduled 12-round fight comes to a conclusion. And next week, uh, 10 knockouts, 20 fights. You know, he has suspect power, you know, but not, I would say, respectable power. Let's take a look at the total punches so far. 135 thrown in two rounds he's already landed 42 punches most of those power punches at a 31 percent clip compared to just 12 out of 50 for his opponent Panchito Horta who once again gets backed up and this time Navarrete didn't follow him into the corner but Navarrete is just tough to fight tough to figure out nice body shot there with the right hook from Emmanuel Navarrete they're asking Horta to close his guard to keep it, his hands up. But at some point, he's got to let him go, and that's where Navarrete is going to make him pay. Yep, he's a tall, he's a, Horta's a tall fighter. He's going to keep those hands up. Navarrete is going to come around with body shots, and then he's going to lift him up with uppercuts. He's going to split the guards of Horta. Navarrete makes a lot of mistakes, including stepping straight back, and he got caught by Horta with the right hook there. But he also makes him miss plenty of times. Left hook from Navarrete trying to set up a power shot. Man, you can hear those shots, don't you, Bernardo? A hundred you can hear them. Those heavy, 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 heavy shots coming from Navarrete. Don't compare him to Margarito in that way. <laughs> You hear the Vaquero chants from his hometown fans there in Mexico. Wants to put on a show for them, and so far, he's doing a good job. With his limitations, he comes out and always gives his best. There you see that body shot. And uh, you see you see the response right there. He didn't have to say anything. And Orta bagging up, taking three steps back from that body shot that Navarrete just landed. Orta with the overhand right. Doesn't even... Budge him. The rail no. Navarrete from coming forward. No. Oh, nice right hand there once again from Horta. This is the fight that Navarrete wants, though. He wants Horta to let his hands go so he can land his inside shot. No, 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 Panchito getting some love from the fans. Oh, nice right hand to follow that combination from Emmanuel Navarrete. No, the shots are just really heavy coming from Navarrete. It's, it's almost like going into a gunfight. If I was Orta, you know, Orta has a BB gun. Navarrete, he got a 40. He got a 40 caliber, man. And he 
knows how to make it pop as he does there Look with a the right and left hook combination yeah, to close yeah, out this third round. He's used to fighting at altitude. That's where he grew up. Yes. But he hasn't fought there the last four times. And here we see the power punches. 143 thrown, 60 landed at a 42% clip. And he's basically thrown, he's landed six less than his opponent is thrown in terms of power punches. That just goes to throw, show you as we have a headbutt here. Uh, if Any blood? cut. Nope, neither is the worst for wear. The referee Roberto Ramirez says nothing has happened here. Come on, get back to the fight. Good jab, and that establishes a flurry of punches from Emmanuel Navarrete. Big left hook from the fighter from Mexico City. You can tell Navarrete right now, he's going for it. He smells blood, he feels his opponent weakening, and he's trying to get it over with right now. You see the right. body language, too, of Panchito Orta changing. He's got him up against the corner, and this is where Emmanuel Navarrete does his best work. And you can hear the crowd appreciating, although Orta lets a nice counter right. Navarrete, he's he's okay with getting hit with those shots because those shots are not hard at all coming from Orta. Just so he can get in position to land his punches. His power punches. See the legs of Orta weakening here in the fourth round. Emmanuel Navarrete is dangerous in round four. He lands a nice body shot. Could have been right on the belt line. And here comes Panchito Orta. You see the toughness in Orta. Now he's the one backing up Emmanuel Navarrete. He's hoping that Navarrete punched himself out. Let me tell you, Bernardo, Navarrete ain't punched himself yeah, out. No. <laughs> I know, and you know, know right but Orta now. doesn't know. There's <laughs> <laughs> a right hook from Navarrete, and here comes another barrage as the blood begins to flow once again from the Good. nose of Panchito Orta, who takes a body shot. He's very valiant, but we saw what happened with another valiant fighter in Miguel Gonzalez, who wasn't throwing punches and was taking punishment. And here, once again, Emmanuel Navarrete with a big knockout of Pachito Horta in his fourth title defense. The first time he does it on home soil. And Navarrete continues to impress. Continues to impress, continue to dominate. You know, this was a good style for him. Style fighter. I want to see Navarrete against a technical boxer. A pure technical boxer. As he moves up, I want to see who's in this weight class that can give this man a challenge. What about Roman? I would. Like, if he can continue to do this, this is going to entice him to keep fighting at this weight. Now the fight, the round started with the head, but and then it just became a barrage of punches for Navarrete. Just overpowering Orta. Look at how he sits down on these shots. He's looking for to land a well-placed shot. Here he is, just just landing a barrage of punches, and then the follow-up nice lead left hook right there from Navarrete, digging down to the body, just punishing Orta with power shots. Nueve segundos del cuarto asalto. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, nine seconds of round number four. El ganador por el local técnico, your better by the way of technical knockout. Y aún el 